Right then guys, this is a late video for me, recently anyway, but um, just got back in from referee and on my way home, all these Twitter things blowing up with uh, Manu Kone and Kefrim Taram, um, so I thought I'd touch on them again, uh, and I say again because I'm pretty sure that we were linked with these, with these two back in January, um, if I can find the video I'll put a link to it up here that I put up in January, the transfer, January transfer window. Um, so yeah, let's just do what we normally do about these type of players. So basically, let's just let me get my feet started with this. So basically, we've had Schmack kick announced today, and then now we're seeing us linked with a German-based midfielder in Manu Kone, Borussia Mönchengladbach, and then we've got Taram, who is a player as well that we've been linked with. But obviously, he plays at Nice. So let's just break it down. Let's go through the stats now from what I normally do with players when we get linked to them. So we'll start with Manu Kone, because that's the one that I've got loaded up first. So, they're both aged 22. They are both French players, and they both play central midfield. However, there's a little variation on where they've played over the course of the season. So, Manu Kone, Bundesliga, 30 appearances, 1 goal, 1 assist, 12 yellows, but no reds. He started 88% of the games in the starting eleven and completed 86% of the minutes that he did. Now, it says here that he is probably a central midfielder. However, he can play in the defensive mode, or he could play in a six. It also says here that Chelsea are interested, which is also very interesting as well, because Chelsea are interested in Kefren Taram, also our Aston Villa. Main points about this is, he is represented by Classico, which that's his agent. Is this is Manu Kone? And I've had a quick look at their sheet of players, and there's nothing on there that suggests that Liverpool have got any sort of relationship with this um, agency. So this would be the first player from this agency we would sign if we were to go down this route. Now it says here on March the 29th that he was valued at 30 million euros. However. He still has, what is that be, two years left on his contract with an option for a further year, so that potentially taking up to 2026. And according to the rumours that are going around at the moment, if I find that now, he, we are looking at, from Manu Kone, according to Sport Build in um, Germany, 40 to 45 million euros. Now... I would have to see what that is, but off the top of my head right now, I'm guessing that's about 35 to 40 million pounds. It's also been picked up by Fabrizio Romano in the past 10 minutes, who basically is saying that Manu Kone is one of the midfielders in on the Liverpool list, I should say. He's highly rated and Liverpool are already informed on the conditions of the deal. And the big one that's come out just recently, just now, and this is five minutes ago, Christian Falk, the main writer at the Sport Build, he was not the first guy to break this. Um, I can't pronounce the guy's name who was, I'm sorry. But basically, he's put out there that it is true. Liverpool have started transfer talks with the management of Manu Kone of Borussia Mönchengladbach. He could be the alternative for Jude Bellingham. Now, many people have been thinking that Alexis McAllister could potentially have been the um, replacement or whatever, the alternative to Bellingham. But I think as well at the same time, we did hear this back in January, guys, that Manu Kone was the alternative to Bellingham. Um, again, I might have mentioned that in the thing up there, but um, as of now, I can't find it. Um, so, yeah, Manu Kone, this seems to be gathering some traction. Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. I would say that... <laughs> With Christian Falk now saying this, and as we all know, Tapping Romano has now picked this up. There probably is something in this. Now, let's jump over to Kefram Taram. If we can just find this one. So, basically, this was the one that was first linked up with us today. And this comes from the Le Keep in France by Hugo Delmo, if I pronounced that right. Basically saying that Nice value him at 60 million euros. So, again... You're probably looking at about 50 to 55 million pounds. It is seen that Taram, according to him, is by this is by Miguel Delaney. Kefram Taram is seen by Klopp as the perfect answer to the issue after Liverpool missed out on Jude Bellingham. Very important, guys. I'm going to come back to this in a moment. 
And then again, Hugo Delon, the first guy we talked to about. Liverpool have opened negotiations with Nice for Kefram Talam. Liverpool have taken steps to recruit the French international. The operation looks complex. Allegedly as well, guys. Lillian Taram, if that's how you pronounce his first name, I apologise. The French legend. He has spoken to Jurgen Klopp. Um, apparently, from, from what you've seen about on Twitter and stuff like that, um, who very much is like... Klopp spoke to a lot of dads, back signs of it this year, you know, Gavin Birch's dad, Kefran Taram's dad, and obviously Alexis McAllister's dad, he's his um, agent. Um, so there's a few people here putting tweets out now that Ibu and Kefram are very good friends. They get on really well. Um, I don't know what this... I'm sorry, guys, I'm just on Twitter. And, um, basically, Kanate is in Bahrain. And the um, one someone who was like one of the royal family and by range tweeted a picture of this out. I'm not trying to mention anything about the sale of the club in this video, but you know, just thought I'd drop that little bit of information in there. So anyway, let's get to Kefran Taram's stats for this season. Now, again, as I mentioned, they are slightly different, but they both are the same age, obviously. Whereas um, Kone was mainly a central midfielder who could go backwards and forwards. Kefram is seen as more of a defensive midfielder. And then it says he does central mid, and then he's also played on the left wing at one point. Again, it says here that Chelsea are probably, uh, possibly after him as well. There's a, I've also heard mention of Aston Villa. It says he's got no agent because that's his dad, basically, guys. Um, his contract runs out in 2025 with no option of a further year, so that could work in our favour. Again, it says here on Transfer Market, he's valued at 32 million euros, but obviously we've just mentioned there that they've said 60 million in Le Keep. Stats for this season, he's got 35 appearances in Ligue 1. He's scored two goals. He's got four assists, which is more than what Kone was doing. And he's also picked up three yellow cards, which is less than what Kone did. He, put, he started in 81% of the starting 11 for... Um, niche this season and finished only 77% of those minutes and to be fair that's pretty big that he's got 13% goal participation for Nice in the league earned last year um, which is pretty big for somebody who um, is supposed to be a prominently defensive midfielder and then let's have a look so he's in the conference league as well he did 10 appearances 3 assists 2 yellow cards completed all games that they did then with 20% goal participation. So obviously this involves assists and goals as well. Now, the bit I want to come back to here is if you read what has been mentioned in all of these articles, guys, not to be a, a downer on this, it seems to be it's one or the other. They're both mentioned as the alternative to Jude Bellingham. It does not say that they are after both players. So for me, guys, We've got to keep our eye on this over the next couple of days and let's see what happens. I do think that, just judging by what I'm seeing right now, it is not both players, it's one or the other. But on the brighter side of this, now that it seems that Liverpool have turned their attention to somebody else, after we've obviously got Alexis McAllister, I'd say that is pretty much done, but not signed, if you get what I mean. I'd say Liverpool have basically gone, right, we've got McAllister sorted, we don't need to worry about that so much now. Let's move on. We've all heard about Ryan Gravenberch that's potentially waiting to get over the line, but we're kind of waiting to see what Bayern do in their situation with their midfielders. So then they've moved on to signing the Jude Bellingham alternative, and they've mentioned Kone and Kefren Taram. So, guys, that'll be it for this video. I don't really have an opinion on who I'd rather have. Looking at the stats, it seems that Kefren Taram would be potentially the better option because it seems to be... Seems they've got a bit of a more of an all-round um, stats-wise, whereas Kone seems to be a bit lacking. But at the same time, guys, that could be just down to the league. Obviously, I'd say, in my opinion, the Bundesliga is a much difficult league, more difficult league, sorry, than um, the league earn. Anyway, guys, let me know down below your thoughts on all this breaking news that's come out today and this night. Let me know who you'd rather have um, in Taram or Kone, or would do you actually think, guys? Do you actually think that Liverpool are going to go and sign both of them? Let me know down below, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.